Welcome everyone to Prophetic Wednesday with Global Awakening. My name is Riesa Petruzzi. Um, we are so excited to have you on today. I'm joined today um, with two special guests. We have Mark Browning from our bookstore, also a, a new pastor. Um, we're very excited to have him on today. And then we've got special guest Marcus Steigert joining us. Marcus was with Global Awakening um, for quite a while, has been connected with the ministry for years, and we're very excited to have him on today to share with you guys. Um, this, is, this is Global Awakening. We are a global community of believers who are empowered to wake, awaken the world, and that is through equipping the saints, through building bridges, lighting fires, and through casting vision. And throughout this call today, we are going to be praying and prophesying over everyone who, um, who joins on the chat. So as you join today, um, I encourage you to just comment your name and where you're from so that we can see you um, come on the chat. Please also um, share your prayer requests with us. We will be praying over um, those prayer requests as they come in. And then we also pray over those prayer requests um, for the rest of the week. So we would love to have you share. Also be interacting with other people on the chat. This is a community. It's a global community. So feel free to be praying for the other people on the chat. You can also share an encouraging prophetic word with someone else on the chat. Um, but before we dive into prophesying, I would just love to have Marcus share with you guys um, just what the Lord has been speaking to him about recently. Thank you. I, I'm excited for this next season, and we've seen some amazing miracles and creative miracles, not just in uh, my ministry, but also Global Awakening and while I traveled with Randy Clark. But um, recently, we've been seeing God sovereignly heal people when we're just pressing into his presence, pressing in and focus. The main thing is not the stage, not the microphone, not the message, but to the presence of Jesus Christ. And um, we've seen creative miracles, women getting new teeth, um, people getting new kidneys. Um, you know, just seen some amazing miracles, bones growing out, metal disappearing, and it's sovereign and without prayer. And so I just want to encourage you right now that as we press into these things today, you can be healed without even a word to you. And by just getting into the presence of God and celebrating what God's doing, and there's, you will see greater things, greater miracles happening. And this next season, we're going to see an outpouring of amazing miracles as we go for the presence of God. Amen. That is so good. Yeah, guys, just position your hearts just with expectation. You know, um, you know, faith is just a landing strip for the Lord to just crash in and do what only he can do. And so even as we get started, we just pray, come Holy Spirit, we invite you um, into every home of every person watching. And we just say, come Holy Spirit, do what only you can do. We pray for healing of bodies and we ask them um, for just the move of the Holy Spirit in every person's life. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. 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 All right, we're going to hop in and we're just going to start praying and prophesying over names as they come into the chat. So once again, just make sure that you are commenting um, your name and where you're joining us from. Yeah, so Maria, uh, I saw you were in the chat earlier and I just felt like the Lord was saying that you have an unblemished faith. Uh, the same way that your eye had just been healed, the Lord wants to use you and give you a better gift of faith so that you can pray and that other eyes would be healed. And I just bless you with that. Amen. Um, I had a word of knowledge um, that there were going to be some people on today who had, um, the word I heard was, was sensory issues. And um, the, the, the impression I was getting is that you actually get very just like overstimulated by sensory input, that it actually becomes very overwhelming and causes a lot of anxiety. And so I just want to pray for that right now. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord, I just lift up anyone who's dealing with um, sensory issues like this. And in Jesus' name, I release the peace of God into all five senses of their body. And I ask, Lord, that you would even um, just heal any trauma in the brain, that you would just remove, supernaturally remove any triggers in the brain, anything that would cause them to just be overwhelmed by sensory input. And in the mighty name of Jesus, we just declare healing right now to any sensory issues in Jesus' mighty name. 
You know, I feel a real sense right now of the Father's heart um, before we go into names. I just want to really press into that, um, that God really sees you. You might feel unseen or, or left behind or something. If that's you, press into his spirit, and the Father's heart will be poured out onto you. His love will be poured onto you, and that will heal all those um, things of feeling like abandoned or feeling like, you know, you don't have the parents, whatever it is. I know God's done that in my life and um, through um, healing me with his love and waves on his love. I just see waves and waves of his love being poured out onto hearts right now. So I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, that Holy Spirit, you'll open up the hearts to receive the Father's love right where they are, whether they're in their car, or they're in the office, wherever they're at, that the Father's love will be poured onto them wave upon wave upon wave of your love that will heal these past wounds in the heart, that will strengthen them up, Father God, as you're calling them forth to step into a new season of being whole and healed through the Father's love. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Um, Angela Jew, um, I saw your comment, and I just heard the Lord say um, just that the thoughts that he has about you, Angela, they outnumber all the grains of sand on the seashore. And um, that word that Marcus just shared about the Father's love, I saw that really strong for you. And um, I just like, I heard, like I saw a picture of the Lord just holding you and just speaking just all these words of love and affirmation over you. And I feel like in this season, the Lord just wants to open your ears to hear all the things that the Father is saying about you. Um, there's a quote that I love that says, we actually can't afford to have any thought in our mind that God doesn't have about us. We can't afford to have an opinion about ourselves that God doesn't have about ourselves. And Angela, I just really feel like the Lord is renewing your mind with the Father's love. And I feel like an invitation for you to partner with him in this and to um, just dig into journaling in this season to just sit down and say, Father, what do you say about me? And to just journal just all those things. And I feel like it's gonna be, it's gonna be better than you think and to not be shy about um, journaling those really great things that the Lord is gonna say about you because he, he, the Lord is crazy about you, Angela. And so I just pray um, for that, a baptism of the Father's love to come over Angela right now in Jesus' mighty name. And I ask Lord that you would give her ears to hear all the amazing, beautiful, and wonderful things that God is saying about her in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Susie Kay, I saw you really active in the chat, and um, I actually had a word for you before we started, but then I saw that you uh, were struggling with uh, nervous system dysfunction. So right now, I just pray for your healing in that right now. Pray that you would feel the fire and the presence of the Lord as he is healing your body as whatever's wrong with your nervous system, that it is being healed right now in the name of Jesus. And I actually saw that dreams are going to begin flowing from your life, that in this next season, you're going to have an increase in your dreams, and their clarity is going to become much more real to you. And not only in your own dreams, but you're going to be able to interpret other people's dreams. And you're going to be able to, when they just share a normal conversation, you're going to be able to see what the Lord is doing in their life through their dreams and you're gonna be able to give a prophetic word to them through their dreams. So I just bless you with that in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father God. We, Andrew Duncan, your name was highlighted to me and then I've seen you've been real active since then, but I just saw you just really laying in peace um, in your bed and focusing on Jesus. Um, if you focus on Jesus when we go to sleep, we'll learn to sleep in a peaceful rest that is above anything you ever experience. And um, I, I've seen God heal all kinds of sleep disorders and this focus on Jesus. And then you also put in there that you have a sleep issue. And so I just declare as you lay down just a focus on God, focus on Jesus and not ask for anything, just focus on him and, and just say, you know, pour out your love. I love you, love you, love you. And God will heal your body from all the issues that are causing you not to be able to sleep well and they'll give you the rest that you need because he gives rest to those he loves and I just declare that over you full healing of all these issues that are causing you not to sleep well as you focus on Jesus and focus on loving Jesus as your Lord and Savior thank you Lord thank you, Jesus. Elizabeth Kramer um, I just saw your comment 
And when I saw your name, I heard the Lord say um, just rivers of living water. And I just declare over you that that you are the temple of the Holy Spirit and that rivers of living water flow out of you, even straight from the throne of God. You um, you are just the Lord's um, even gateway to this world that the heaven actually comes through you and is released through you to the people around you. And I really see the power of God increasing on your life in this season. Um, I feel like the Lord is just um, kind of increasing your expectation. He's giving you um, a gift of faith, an impartation of the gift of faith for miracles, signs, and wonders. And I ask Holy Spirit even right now that you would baptize Elizabeth in the Holy Spirit. And we pray for, um, yeah, an activation of the gift of healing, the gift of faith, and for miracles, signs, and wonders in Jesus' name. And I, I also just see these encounters um, where you, you are just spending time with the Lord and you're actually encountering the river of God, maybe even seeing yourself in the river of God. Um, and just, I encourage you to even dig in um, to the verses in Ezekiel and Revelation that describe the river of God. I feel like the Lord just has more revelation for, for you in those scriptures. So I just bless you with that, Elizabeth, in Jesus' name. Olga Valeya, I'm sure I'm not, probably, probably not pronouncing that right, but um, I just saw your, your comment was highlighted to me and that you needed deliverance. And the image I got was just that the Lord was at the right hand of the Father and he was interceding for you. And we just step in and we agree with that right now. We agree with the deliverance. We agree with your hunger for the Lord. So we just pray right now that you would be delivered and that the Holy Spirit would come upon you and fill in whatever place is void, that his love and his presence would be felt in such a way that it would push anything that's not of him out and that you would be made whole and receive everything that Jesus paid for. As I, Tiffany Allen, your name was highlighted to me, and I immediately heard prophetic, and that you have a prophetic voice, and God's given you actually a very strong prophetic voice, and, and the next thing I heard was of a Joan of Arc spirit, and um, it's literally when you start speaking the words of God about he has ordained you to speak, that he has called you to speak, all men, all women will listen to them because they are directives from heaven. So just learn on the prophetic. I don't know if you're pressing the prophetic yet, but I just see you literally diving in and learning in the prophetic and growing in the prophetic. Um, and it's it literally God's going to give you the whispers of his heart to speak out that will expand the kingdom and the places that's not being expanded right now through the prophetic voice you have. So I bless that prophetic voice in Tiffany. And I just declare, Father God, you align her up with the right teachings and right people to support her and that could give her prophetic counsel and prophetic um, uh, tools to help her grow in this. Father God, let the Holy Spirit guide her where she needs to be and placed in, Father God, and keep her in that place where it's focused on Jesus, focus on you, God, and she could release it and glorify you in Jesus' name. Amen. Such a good word. Um, guys, as you're, as you're on today, I just want to make you aware of an amazing opportunity we have coming up um, in just a month. It is our Voice of the Apostles Conference. Um, it's going to be in Woodbridge, Virginia. And if you can't make it um, with us in person in Virginia, we actually have an online version of the conference. And it's not just um, streaming the videos. It's actually an interactive experience. And you will get, um, you'll get ministry. Um, from online ministers and so if you can't make it to Woodbridge um, please consider joining us for our online version of Voice of the Apostles. It's going to be October 18th to the 21st and we will have Apostles Dr. Randy Clark, Bill Johnson, and Heidi Baker with us. We are so excited. If you're just hungry for that more of God, um, do what you can to get um, to Woodbridge. It's going to be amazing. There's going to be um, just um, times of impartation of the Holy Spirit and really it'll be a time to hear um, from these apostolic voices and leaders to just hear what the Lord is speaking to them about in this season. So I hope you guys can make it out. You can go to globalawakening.com slash events to register for Voice of the Apostles. That's awesome. Yeah, we're super excited to see everybody who comes there. Um, Nadine, I didn't get to catch your last name, but I saw that you needed financial breakthrough. Um, so I just pray for that right now. I pray that the finances of heaven would be unlocked with you or unlocked for you, that the resources would be at your grasp. But I also pray for the wisdom 
to unite that wealth with the kingdom, to take what the Lord is giving you and to unite it with his kingdom, with his movement and what he's doing. So I pray for wisdom and revelation to come upon you right now and that you would get ideas to create wealth and kingdom business ideas so that you would not only touch uh, everybody in the kingdom, but you would touch the marketplace and those who don't know the Lord and that those resources would unlock salvation in other people's lives. Uh, I really feel a strong um, sense to encourage you for healing right now. Um, if you don't know my story, but I was born with three kidneys, um, had two removed when I was five. I had a genetic kidney disease. Um, long story short, um, God healed my genetic kidney disease um, and also um, healed the kidney, but created a new kidney in me, and that was doctor verified that I had a whole new kidney in me. So he does creative miracles. We've seen many creative miracles, and I, I already lost count how many people got new kidneys, um, new lungs, new heart after four bypass surgeries, a complete new heart. Um, and a new liver, uh, we've seen gallbladders um, healed on a lot of people online from watching testimony. So I want to encourage you that you can receive your healing, whatever it's for, even if the word knowledge is not released, the, 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 the spirit of God is here and there's healing across these um, connections that we're doing with the internet. But I really feel like strong that God is going to heal kidney stones. Um, and if you're dealing with kidney stones, I know how that is, but God's going to heal you from that. If you just press in right now, reach out, claim that right now. Also, um, cancer, diabetes, leg pain. Um, I'm seeing God literally healed um, this knee issue. It's a left knee issue. Um, these things, God wants to heal them right now. So I want to encourage you. We're going to pray for more healing, but I want to encourage you to go for it right now because God is the God that heals, and he heals when we press in and go for it. And so I declare right now, Father God, that you'll send your angels on commission um, to go and minister to the physical bodies of the people watching, that you'll start destroying cancer cells in the name of Jesus Christ, that you'll start healing um, organs that are, are, are broken down or are, are damaged and that you cause cells to grow. We bless the cells in Jesus Christ's name with the life of Jesus to duplicate and to grow in Jesus' name. So create miracles flow through from um, heaven, Father God. We loose them here on earth in the name of Jesus Christ. We loose the healing for diabetes, for that knee pain, for that leg pain, for fibromyalgia. Father God, I just declare right now that high blood pressure, um, we don't settle for it and just live with it. But Father God, those that are listening and are on that have high blood pressure will literally have their blood pressure stabilized into a normal blood pressure. And even the doctors will be baffled at how good their blood pressure is in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Yes. Thank you. And we're just going to keep pressing in for healing. Um, I just really feel that um, I had a couple words of knowledge. Um, I heard uh, stage four lymphoma. And I just declare that the Lord is healing stage four lymphoma right now in Jesus, Jesus' mighty name. Every form of cancer right yes. now, we rebuke it in Jesus. Jesus' mighty name. And I rebuke yes. all lymphoma right now in Jesus' mighty name. We command every cancer cell, every abnormal cell in the body to go in Jesus' mighty name. And we release healing yes. right now to bodies. Yes. And I also just heard liver disease, that the yes. Lord is actually recreating livers. And I felt like there was someone on who, who actually, you, you feel like you don't deserve your healing because you, you maybe even abused your body through alcohol use but the Lord just wants to reveal yes. his mercy and his kindness and his redemption to you and so right now in Jesus mighty name I rebuke yes. liver disease and I pray Lord for recreated uh, livers right now in the mighty name of Jesus and then I was also hearing, um, I was seeing this very painful dry scalp condition where you actually, it's, it's so dry that it actually bleeds and it's very painful. And in Jesus' mighty name, I just uh, speak healing to that scalp and I command the skin to be completely healed in Jesus' mighty name. And now I'm actually also seeing that up someone's arms, that your, your arms actually just get so dry that they crack and they bleed. And so right now in Jesus' mighty name, yes. I rebuke every skin condition, and we just command even brand new skin in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Matt Abrams, I saw that you put in the chat that you had ALS, so we just pray for that right now. We pray that uh, just as recently you were diagnosed, that you would be healed in the name of Jesus, that this diagnosed, this disease wouldn't stick around for long, but that the healing from the Lord would come upon you right now in this moment 
as we agree in faith for your healing. And I just see angels surrounding you right now in the presence of the Lord just filling the room that you're in. So I thank the Lord for your healing. I thank you for the healing that you're going to receive and that through this continual process as you're putting your faith into the Lord that he is just right there with you with every step that you're taking. Loretta Brown Thomas, you are seen. God sees you. He knows you. He hears the cries of your heart. I just declare right now, Father God, that you will start ministering to Loretta's heart. Um, as you minister to her heart, those physical issues will be healed. But go for the, the presence of God and the touch of God to know that he sees you. He loves you. You're his daughter. He sees you. He says, there's my daughter I love, and you're worth it all. And she, don't, don't let those thoughts and those things that are coming against you um, to make you think that you're not seen or heard by God. God sees you and loves you, and he's going to heal your body. But I just declare, Father God, right now that you would just re release your presence over Loretta and that she could feel your love come upon her right now and that she knows that she's your daughter, that her identity aligns with what you see her as. As a daughter, you love, you cherish cherish and you're well pleased with heal her body physically father god as you heal her mind heart and soul and line them up with your view of her as a special daughter of yours in jesus name amen yeah you know guys that the lord is jehovah rapha he is the god amen. who heals amen. and i just want to encourage you even today as we continue to pray for healing um if you have a condition that you can test try to do something that you couldn't do amen. before um that is an act of faith when you actually if you had um maybe a lack of range of motion and you actually tested out if you had pain in your body and you tested out to see if there was no pain if you had a lump and you amen. test to see if the lump is gone that is just part partnering your faith and actually believing that the Lord can heal you right now in this moment. We're not praying for this to happen in the future. We're praying for it to happen right now. We, we know that the Lord will crash in. He's the God of the breakthrough and he can crash in right now. And so we're praying um, that heaven would come in your body and there is no sickness in heaven. There is no disease in heaven. And so right now I invite you, try to do something you couldn't do before, um, test it out, and then also just let us know. Um, we we want to hear your testimonies. So email us at testimonies at globalawakening.com. Uh, we want to know what the Lord is doing. Um, and just let us know if it's if it's 80% better, if it's 50% better, if it's 100% better. We want to celebrate. And as you're actually faithful to celebrate, Celebrate and to share what the Lord is doing and even release your testimony. You're declaring, Lord, do it again. Amen. And the Lord will actually do it again in someone else's life. So please share your testimonies in the chat and email us. We really want to hear and just be faithful to steward the testimony of Jesus. Yeah, Andrew Duncan, when I saw your name in the chat, my hands actually began to get hot and they started to burn. And what I felt like the Lord was saying with that was that you just have an anointing for healing, that the Lord has bless you with the gift of healing and that when you pray for people, they will receive their healing. And maybe you haven't seen it yet or maybe you haven't seen it to the degree that you expect to, but I feel like the Lord is going to be increasing that anointing. And as you continue to step out in faith, the Lord is going to be there with you in that and that the presence and power of the Lord is going to go with you. And I see you going on the streets in power evangelism and actually praying for people on the streets and receiving receiving and seeing miracles right there on the streets and that the people are the people that you encounter are going to be in so wondrous awe of the Lord through you that you're just going to drive people straight to the Lord so I bless you with that in the name of Jesus I was really feeling a draw to pray for backs um, and especially back injuries bulging discs herniated disc even if you've had back surgery. And I saw um, Zeke McManus, you put on there that you have an L5-S1. I saw that as confirmation. So Zeke, be excited um, that God wants to heal back injuries. Um, if you have any kind of back injury, put your hand on it if you can. Um, I just want to declare right now, Father God, that you'll line up every vertebrae, every disc, every nerve, that the spasms will 
stop around the muscles, Father God. We just declare that the nerves will stop having signals being shot all over the place for irritated nerves or pinched nerves. We declare alignment for those nerves, alignment for the vertebrae, alignment for the disc to come into a perfect alignment the way you designed them to do. We've seen thousands of backs healed, and I just declare you do it again, Father God, with all those that are on right now, that they'll see healing in their back, that they have no more back pain sitting or doing things, and they can sleep well without pain in their backs in the name of Jesus. And those that have metal implants or metal um, that has been put into the backs or spines or anywhere in the body, I declare a release from that surgical procedure, the metal that restricts or causes pain when it gets cold or weather changes. I declare right now in the name of Jesus Christ that is completely released. Do whatever you do and however you do it, Father God. I've seen you do it so many bodies and even my own body. So I declare that you release that right now, that all metal, all restrictions from implants will stop and that you'll give freedom and healing in Jesus Christ's name. Yes. Jesus, and especially with, if you have metal in your body, test it out right now. Try yes. to do something that you couldn't do before. Um, I just heard that the Lord wants to heal concentration issues, ADD, and even dyslexia. Um, and just, just in general, if you have a really hard time concentrating or you've been getting brain fog, and I feel like there's actually someone who this has not been your normal, but it's just recently that you've been having a really hard time concentrating and you, it maybe has been causing some anxiety even. So right now in Jesus' mighty name, I just ask, Lord, that the fire of God would come and you'd burn up anything. Um, that is tormenting people, that is causing them to not be able to concentrate. And in Jesus' mighty name, we rebuke ADD, we rebuke dyslexia, and we command brains to even be restructured and yeah. healed in the mighty name of Jesus. And I thank you, Lord, that you give us the mind of Christ. You give us sound minds. And so I just declare sound minds over everyone watching right now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Yeah, Velra, Velra Marie, I think that's how you pronounce your name. Um, I just saw that you needed peace to sleep. So I just pray for you right now on that. And I just pray for any trauma that might be associated with that to be healed right now in the name of Jesus. I just felt like the Lord was saying, and if you would love to agree with me in this, is just to forgive those who may have hurt you and that has caused this trauma in your life. Forgiving them, it doesn't mean that they were, that they're allowed to hurt you or anything like that, but it just means that you're putting your hurt in the hands of the Lord, that you're releasing them from anything that they owe you, hmm. that you're releasing them from anything that they may owe you, and all responsibility is in the Lord's hand. So I just pray for all trauma to leave right now in the name of Jesus, and Holy Spirit, would you come and bring your peace, your shalom, right now to Velra Marie and would she sleep soundly in Jesus name yeah, I feel like we, we should enter a time just a, a moment here but in praise and thanksgiving for God what you're doing in all the lives of those that you're touching right now and the bodies that you're healing the prophetic words you're releasing over people we thank you and praise you you know the word says that we enter his courts with thanksgiving and praise it's the password into the kingdom of heaven if we'll praise him and glorify him even in the midst of our touch or in the midst of you know still feeling like we, we need healing I just think that if you step into worship and praise praise and thanksgiving just with your lips thank you father god thank you holy spirit thank you jesus you will see your breakthrough so father god we thank you right now for everything you're, you're doing right now and you've done through this ministry global awakening we just thank you father god that you're moving you're healing you're calling forth people into their destinies we glorify you holy spirit for what you're doing and we glorify you for the praise reports that will come and the praise reports that will cause others to step into healing and and to, to receiving their breakthrough in Jesus name. Jesus name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. There's just such a beautiful um, anointing for healing on the live today. I just feel such an emphasis from the heart of God on physical healing today. Um, and so I just I just invite you guys, even if you're hopping on now, um, to go back and just re-watch. Um, the Lord is just, um, we've been praying for many different um, conditions. And even if we didn't call out your specific condition, just receive you, the healing by faith. It was, it was purchased for you on the cross. When Jesus died on the cross for you, he died for the salvation 
salvation of your soul. He died for the deliverance of your yes. soul. And he also Amen. died for the healing of your body. It is by his stripes we are healed. And I actually just feel led right now. I feel like there are some people watching who you have not yet given your life to Jesus. And um, that is what is first. We enter the kingdom of God through the person of Jesus Christ. When we come to God and say, Lord, I have sinned. I have fallen short of the glory of God and I need a savior. And you humble yourself to receive what Jesus purchased for you on the cross. And you simply come and you just say, Lord, I believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God. I believe he died on the cross for my sins and that he rose again from the dead by the power of the Holy Spirit, that he is alive in heaven today, that Jesus Christ is the one true God. And today I choose to give my heart to Jesus. I say, come Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I want to make you the Lord of my life. I just encourage you if your heart is agreeing with that prayer. Um, if you're just believing and and receiving Jesus right now as your Lord, um, just take it. Take even pause the live right now and to just um, talk to the Lord. Um, the Lord is is drawing you home. He's drawing you into the kingdom of God, into the family of God. Um, and so I just bless you right now in Jesus' mighty name. And we say welcome, welcome to the family of God. Amen. 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 And for all those people who just accepted Christ, we just pray that the power of the Holy Spirit would come upon you. I know in many people's lives and in my own too, when I first accepted God, I had no idea that there was anything more. I thought from that point on, it was just going to church. It was just, you know, showing up on Sunday and trying to live better through my own power. But there, we have a helper. We have a companion who is here to help us be like Jesus not only so that we have a better lives, but so that everybody that we encounter would see and feel the love of Christ and the love of the Father. So right now I just pray for the Holy Spirit to come upon all of those who just accepted Christ and all those who have never been filled. And even if you need a refreshing, I pray for the Holy Spirit to come upon you right now and for you to receive power and to feel the love and companionship of the Holy Spirit, Jesus and the Father. Amen. Amen. As we celebrate all those salvations, that is the, the key. That is the most important thing. We celebrate you. You're now part of the kingdom of God. And we just declare over you that you get surrounded with people that will encourage you and help you grow. You'll get connected into the body. We need to be connected with each other to help each other grow. And that's what it's about. And so we just glorify God for you coming into the kingdom right now. We celebrate you because you are that important um, that Jesus Christ was thinking about you on the cross, that you're that important to God, that he wanted a relationship with you. And it is the most important thing that we could ever do is see the kingdom of God expanded through salvations like yours. So thank you, Jesus, for what you've done and what you paid for and that these people are coming into the kingdom by your stripes, by your blood, and now they can walk in the fullness of life of what you have for them as living in this world um, as from the kingdom of heaven perspective where you're given them power by the Holy Spirit, comfort by the Holy Spirit, and you're calling them to go out and pray for those around them. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Amen. Yeah, and for um, for all of you who, um, who just received the Lord, or maybe you're just um, maybe rededicating your heart to the Lord, or just uh, for anyone who's just hungry to grow deeper in God, we actually have a book that um, I'm going to have Mark share with you. Mark actually is with our bookstore, um, so he's going to tell you about this book. Yeah, so uh, I'm with the Traveling Bookstore. Uh, we go all over with all of our conferences, and this was actually one of the first books I read uh, even before I came to Global. Uh, my wife was in the school, and um, she actually heard about Trisha Frost, who came and spoke, and she recommended this book to me, and it completely changed my life. It changed my relationship with the Lord. Uh, for so much of my life, I was, I always thought that you had to earn, earn the love of the Father, that you had to strive and you had to be perfect. And, you know, if you had any area of sin, that you just weren't doing enough. But this book by Jack and Tricia Frost, Spiritual Slavery to Sonship, uh, completely changed all that. Jack, um, Jack passed and his uh, wife, Tricia, actually finished the book for him. But um, it goes into much detail about how Jack was the same way, how, you know, he thought he had to earn all of his love from the Father. He thought he had to, he had to strive and he had to be perfect. Um, but then the Lord encountered him in such a loving way. 
and I feel like the same way he wants to encounter many of you. But um, it's a, definitely one of my favorite resources that we have in the bookstore. I recommend it at every conference we go to. If you feel like you have to strive, if you feel like you know you have to earn the Father's love, um, I would definitely recommend this resource. And I just pray right now that the Father's love would encounter you where you're at, that you would feel his tangible presence and his acceptance of you, that Jesus paid the price for you, and yes, you still may be struggling with sin, yes, you may not be obedient, but his love still chases after you. So I just bless all of you with that in the name of Jesus. And I also just want to highlight uh, right now in the bookstore, we have a deal going on. If you spend $50 or more, you get free shipping within the U.S. Sorry for everybody who's international, but it is just a U.S. deal. Um, we still have great resources for those who are international. But um, Bill Johnson actually says we're one of the best traveling bookstores around. So feel free to go to our website, globalawakeningstore.com, and check out all of our resources. Yeah, there, there's just unlimited amazing resources on there. <laughs> um, I had a word for Andrew Duncan. Um, I actually saw, I saw just a fire over your head, Andrew. And I heard the Lord say that he's just increasing your boldness in this season and specifically in leadership. I'm not sure um, if you lead in the business realm at all, but I saw this boldness just in increasing. I feel like you're already a confident person, but it was like a supernatural boldness that was just coming on you. And it was a boldness to speak truth. And I saw you having these encounters and conversations with people, um, even in the workplace where it's almost like, I saw like a hammer of truth just like hitting people and I saw like year like issues that had been in their lives for years just being shattered even with like a one-liner sentence and people even like receiving a measure of deliverance even through um you just speaking um the truth to people and i feel like um maybe there has been some intimidation that has come against you to stop you um from speaking um the truth of god to people speaking the truth of the word to people but i just see this fire um from heaven just coming on your head even right right now. And so I pray, Holy Spirit, um, I pray for Andrew and I pray for the fire of God to just increase on his life. And I pray for that fiery boldness to speak the truth yeah. in love in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Um, I want to um, pray for uh, Deborah Lawal. I hope I said your name right. But I saw um, God just really highlighting you that he's calling you to be a witness in your country and literally I, I just immediately saw a picture of Heidi Baker I don't know if you're familiar with her but she is a witness um, to um, a complete region but also around the world but I, I just declare over you Deborah that you have um, just God really touch your life right where you're at and give you a boldness and a hunger for the gospel he sets your feet on fire for the gospel that you'll pave ways that no others can pave that literally you'll, you'll start going and through your country that you're from and that you'll start seeing God open up doors and that you'll start seeing that literally the kingdom expansion through the giftings that he gives you for the gospel and I, I believe it's an evangelistic call but there's gonna be healing there's gonna be um, prophetic that's going to follow behind you um, as God backs up his word and as people step into kingdom of God they're going to get activated and they're going to get stepping into their call and walk alongside of you so I bless you Deborah as God uses you God highlights where you need to go and what places you need to talk to even giving you favor with the government to go out and preach the gospel right where you're at in Jesus name yeah Regina Regina Daniel um Man, I just saw the Lord exploding into your life like a volcano. And I know that sounds wild and extravagant, but that's the image that the Lord gave me, is as you're calling out for help and as you're calling out for prayer, the Lord is just bursting into your life with the force, with the, with the power, more than a volcano, right? And he's there. He's your comforter. He's right there with you. So we just bless you right now. We bless that you would not only feel the presence of the Lord, but whatever problems, whatever issues you may be having in life, that the Lord is there. He is working in your midst. So we just bless what he is doing right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 
Um, well, guys, I just want to make you aware of a, an opportunity we have coming up. It's an international ministry trip to Australia. Um, and if you um, are actually hungry to um, be activated in healing, if you're um, hungry to just see miracles um, happen under your very own hands, um, our IMT trips are just an amazing opportunity. Um, this trip is coming up February 11th to the 19th. Um, the speakers will include Dr. Tom Jones, Charity Cook, Richie Seltzer, um, and, and the nation of Australia is just ripe and just hungry for the move of the Holy Spirit. And so um, we know that you know, not everyone is, is called to go on this trip, but I just believe that there are some people on here that this, this is tugging on your heart right now. And so if that's you, I just invite you to pray about it. And I even encourage you that if the Lord's calling you to come on one of our trips, that he will provide the finances. So just take the step of faith to start out, to start the application. And um, when, when God calls you, he provides. And yeah. so you can go um, to globalawakening.com slash trips um, if you want more more information and you can also just see all of our upcoming trips on the website as well it's so great um, to go on these trips will activate you I know many people that go on the trips I've been on plenty of trips they will activate you and accelerate you into the gifts and you'll be trained equipped but you'll also be used by God powerfully on these trips so I also encourage you to go on the trip um, I want to uh, pray over I think it, uh, I might mispronounce it but I think it's Devane Alavera um, I just saw the word ambassador over you, and I, 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 ambassador is huge in our ministry because I believe that we are ambassadors for the kingdom of heaven. Wherever we go, we walk in the favor and the authority of the kingdom of heaven, and so we could literally take strongholds. But I see God is literally taking you from your, your home area, your home country, to another country. You might feel displaced or lost, but God has called you to be an ambassador there. And so God's going to get, open up doors, um, literally open up doors for you to see uh, the power of God move in strange and unusual ways. I see God just moving. It's not like, you know, just the typical church type thing, but it's literally moving in strange ways. Wherever you go, you might even go into like homeless tent cities or cardboard cities, and God's going to move in ways where people are going to give their lives to Christ. There's going to be healing, but there's also going to be multiplication of, of needs, of food, of things that supplies that need, and God's going to do this as you take whatever you have and you bless it and give it to the Lord. He'll multiply it for what God puts in front of you to do so I bless you as you are an ambassador from the kingdom of heaven right where you're at, right in the country that you're at. You're not displaced. God is with you. He is for you. You have the favor of God, and you have the authority of Jesus Christ to walk in the fullness of the kingdom of heaven at hand where you're at. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, Lauren Ramirez, I saw you very active in the chat earlier. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Lauren, I saw you very active in the chat earlier, uh, and I just saw your hunger and your fire for the Lord. And what I actually saw was that you were you were putting yourself on the altar like a sacrifice for the Lord. And I saw the Lord coming and just blessing you with His Holy Spirit. And I saw you on such fire for the Lord that you were just willing to go anywhere and do anything. And I think that's why the Lord waited for now for me to tell, uh, say this word for you, is. Mm -hmm. Be ready to go anywhere and be and to do anything.
Holy Spirit. I pray for a fresh baptism of the Holy Spirit for Annette G. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I really feel like there's anointing for healing of hearing issues. Um, I feel like God wants to open up ears. Um, God wants to stop ringing in the ears, um, damage to the ears, uh, even fluid buildup. Um, uh, what is it called? Shunts or what the, that they put in for the fluid stunt, yeah, and so to release that. So I feel there's anointing. So if, if you would just um, grab a hold of your ears, I just want to pray over that. Father God, heal the ears, open up the ears to be able to hear completely that there's no more muffled sounds and um, deafness that's happening. I just declare right now in the name of Jesus. And if you just start snapping, I don't know why I feel that, just snap around your ears, you'll start hearing better, hearing better as you snap. I just declare that right now. I declare that all ringing stop right now in the name of Jesus Christ, that ringing will be um, just canceled out and that you will not have that annoying ringing sound anymore and you have a peaceful sound in your ears. I declare that all fluid buildup in the ears will stop in the name of Jesus. That full restoration power of the cross, the blood of Jesus Christ, that his stripes we are healed, will heal all hearing issues in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Um, yeah, I had a word of knowledge for um, for a stiff neck. I saw someone who it actually your neck was locked and um, you weren't able to just turn your head. And I feel like it had actually um, been going on for quite a long time. And so right now in Jesus mighty name, I just command that neck to release. I command the neck to be loosened right now in Jesus mighty name. We command full mobility to be restored to necks, to spines right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And I also speak to joint pain. The Lord is healing joint pain right now. I speak to joints right now. I just release the oil of the Holy Spirit even to yes. into joints right now. In Jesus' name, I command all joint pain to go, arthritis go. In Jesus' mighty name. And then finally, I um, I saw, and I don't know if this is for one specific person, but um, I felt really strong that the Lord is breaking a gambling addiction today. Mm -hmm. I saw someone who's been going to lotteries and uh, doing the lottery and going to casinos, and that you know that this gambling issue is really robbing you, but you just feel like you can't get past it. That every time you try to stop, it just keeps grabbing you. And so right now, in Jesus' mighty name, we just break any demand demonic hold over their life and we command that spirit of addiction to be broken right now in Jesus mighty name I ask Holy Spirit that you would just burn up that addiction with the fire of Almighty God and also that you Lord would just remove all shame that has been around this addiction even financial loss that has come through this addiction and I pray for the mercy of the Lord and for full restoration in this person's life I just feel like the father wants you to know that he is not disappointed with you that he loves you and that he wants to restore you he wants to restore all that was lost yes. Yes. in Jesus yes. mighty name yeah amen uh, love love I saw your chat in there earlier and I saw you calling out for help so I just pray that the Lord would clear a way for you right now that the Lord would come and be your deliverer for whatever situation you find yourself in if you feel like you're trapped that he would come and he would break you out of whatever uh, might be holding you down because he is the chain breaker he has broken us off of our sin and our entrapment he's broken us out of the fear of death so we no longer have to live in fear of death he is our resurrection he is our power so I pray that that revelation of Jesus Christ as the breaker as the one who breaks chains would come into your life it would that that revelation would be given to you right now and that you experience Jesus in a whole new way and in a whole new manner in Jesus name I want to pray for um, Chim Zaram, if I said it right, and, and all others. I, I really f I felt this word knowledge that, um, that the chronic pain and chronic illness, illness is going to be healed today. And I think um, Chim Zaram is um, experiencing chronic illness. But if you're in chronic pain or chronic illness um, that's been going on for years and years and you just got to the point where you've just accepted it, it's time to step forth and say, no, this is not right. And take authority and say, in the name of Jesus Christ, I do not have to have chronic pain. I do not have to have chronic 
chronic illness. And we declare right now, Father, as they step in that boldness and that authority, that the chronic pain will leave their bodies right now in the name of Jesus Christ, and that the chronic illness will stop. Let the doctors be baffled by the recovery and restoration of the bodies. I just thank you, Father God, as we step into the boldness of Jesus Christ and the healing that he paid for, that you will see chronic pain, chronic illness removed from the bodies and full restoration of the bodies, head to toe, every single nerve issue, every single um, brain fog issue, whatever it is that is causing you to live in this chronic state of illness or pain, we stop it right now in the name of Jesus Christ and call forth full healing over all those who are watching in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. Um, I actually just want to give a shout out right now to all of our partners who are on. We just want to thank you to all of our Global Awakening partners. You guys make um, these calls possible. You make all of our trips possible, all of our events possible. Um, and if you want to become a partner with Global Awakening, partner with us in prayer and financially to just see the kingdom of God advanced on the earth. Um, you can go to globalawakening.com slash donate to become a partner. I actually work in the partners department and we pray for our partners every day. We consider it a true spiritual partnership that when you sow in, um, you're actually, you're, re you're reaping, you're sharing in the, um, in the harvest that we're seeing as a ministry that you actually are a part of that harvest. And um, we pray for our partners and we ask our partners to pray for us so it's a true it's a true partnership and you actually are also joining um, just the global community you you get connected and just into a deeper connection with the ministry and so if that's something that you would like to do um, I would love to hear from you you can also email us at partners at globalawakening.com but thank you so much to all, all of our partners who are on today we love you guys yeah I know um... I know we're nearing an end here, so I had two words that I felt like the Lord gave me before we started, and I haven't seen their names pop up in the chat. I feel like one of them is for Rich. I don't know if you're here, if you're just watching and you haven't typed in, but I feel like you have a business anointing uh, that the Lord has given you ideas to create business and to create wealth and generate wealth for the kingdom. And then another one is for somebody whose last name is Warner. I just saw a spirit of joy on you. I just felt like the Lord was laughing with you and that he was just, uh, he was placing you strategically into people's lives to uplift them in valleys that they might find themselves in. That when people are going through hard times and struggles, you are there to be the joy of the Lord for them. So I just bless you with that in the name of Jesus. I feel this really strong urge to encourage everybody and, and you know it's hard to keep up with the chat and how many people but they I was noticing there's so many people that were, are seeking a word from God, a direction from God, um, literally wanting and earning, yearning for a prophetic word. And I want to encourage you to grab the Bible and just start reading. And as you read the word of God, and there's going to be something that's going to be highlighted. You could just start in, a, in any book, you know, just start in Ephesians and start reading through. And when God highlights that one sentence or maybe even one word, stop and start praying into that. And you will hear God's voice. You can hear God's voice give you direction, give you insight, and give you healing for your body. If you'll just grab a hold and listen to the Holy Spirit as you read the living word, that's what it's there for. That's where we get our insight from, is just reading the word. And when, when I read and something grabs a hold of me, I can stay on there for um, weeks sometimes on just one word or one sentence in the Bible and just press it into what does God have for me in that um, particular passage. Father God, I just declare you give people a hunger for your word, to dive into it, to read it, it, Father God, and that you'll start highlighting to them a certain passage or certain word or certain sentence that will speak to their lives and what they're going through right now. That healing will come, direction will come, destinies will be called out through the living word that you have provided for us, that you give us insight to our lives. We thank you, Father God. And I just call for those that feel like, well, I can't read the Bible because I get bored or get distracted. I call for a spiritual um, anointing to come upon them, that the word comes alive. It plays like a movie in your head and that when you read it you could put yourself in it and see everybody all the characters in it and what's going on and it becomes alive to you where you cannot put it down and i just thank you father god that you do that for people you've done it for me made it where the word just comes completely alive like a movie i declare you do that again in jesus name amen, amen. that's so good <laughs> thank you jesus um actually sharon bell you commented 
And I just feel, um, actually, to release this word that you commented, you said, I see the Lord taking eye salve and rubbing it into people's eyes. Mm. And so I just release that word right now in yeah. Jesus' mighty name. <clears throat> and we just speak to eye conditions. We say, eyes be healed. We ask Holy Spirit for that Holy Spirit salve right now, um, just the, the healing balm of Gilead to just be rubbed into eyes right now in Jesus' mighty name. And I just command vision to be restored for eyes even to be recreated created right now we say eyes see in the mighty name of jesus yes yeah, susie k you said that your uh, grandson tommy is nonverbal, so we just pray right now and we corporately intercede for him that he would be able to speak that the lord would deliver what deliver him from whatever may be prohibiting from him to speak and the image i got was an angel was removing something from tommy's throat and that uh, his voice was beginning to sing out and praise the Lord. So we pray for that blockage. We pray for whatever mentally might be happening to where he can't speak to end in the name of Jesus and that Tommy would be able to praise the Lord. Yes. Amen. All right, guys. Well, it's that time. We're in our last five minutes. So that means we are in our lightning round. Um, so go ahead, throw your name in the comments, and we're going to um, just rapid fire be prophesying over as many people as possible in the last five minutes. So if you guys want to go for it. Well, I just declare right now, Jonathan, that you are going to have a complete breaking of all addictions in the name of Jesus Christ, that the, the cries of your, your family have been heard in Jesus Christ's name. And I also want to declare right now over um, Elaine in Toronto, Father God is going to use you, dive in, let your roots go into the spiritual aquifer that is there in Toronto, and let him use you right where you're at, and you're going to see the power of God move in a mighty way. Yeah, Vicki, I just saw that the Lord was giving you a prophetic voice, that you're able to speak into people's lives at key moments and at key times, and that you were going to be woken up in the middle of the night interceding for people that you don't even know, but who is on the Lord's heart, and he's going to use you mightily. And Pat S., I just heard the Lord say that he is blessing your finances. I actually saw a picture of a piggy bank, and I saw the Lord coming in with a hammer, and I saw him breaking the piggy bank, and he said it's not big enough. Um, and I just feel like the Lord is actually increasing just your capacity even to be able to steward kingdom finances. And so we just pray for that, Lord. Um, for Pat, we bless her finances in Jesus' mighty name. Sally from Minnesota, I heard just a, a real quick one for you. Yes, the answer is yes. You know what you've been asking, and God knows, and he's saying, yes, it is time. Yes to Sally in Minnesota. Yeah, Christoph, I just felt like the Lord was giving you a better or more of a desire to see people saved. Like you might already have this desire now, but there's going to be such a hunger in you that you just have to see people come to know the Lord, and he's going to be using you mightily in the next coming days and weeks to see this happen. And uh, Chris Battle, I heard the Lord say that you are God's beloved son in Amen. whom he is well pleased. And I just saw the Lord just breaking off discouragement, shame, just anything that any voice that is not from the Lord. And I just declare over you, Chris, that God is pleased with you, that you have been made the righteousness of God through Jesus cut through Jesus Christ. And so I just bless your mind right now. And I ask Lord for um, any thought that is not of you, God, to be broken off in Jesus' mighty name. Alyssa Guzman, I just declare over you the anointing of healing that you're called to walk in and see boldness of a uh, gift of faith, a boldness that comes out of you that calls forth what is not there to be there. So created miracles, um, healings, and just really walking in the fullness of the anointing of Jesus Christ and healing and restoration of the body. So I declare, Father God, you anoint her in the name of Jesus and that she'll start going out in boldness and see that she's a lightning rod for healing. Yeah, Johanna Smith, I just saw the love of the Father come upon you, and I saw you as a beacon of love that not only in your life, but in uh, when you encounter people, you're going to be like a lighthouse. You're going to attract people who are desperate and lost because you just carry the love of the Father so well, and you example it so well. So I bless you with that. Amen. Um, Anna Ketchanello, 
I hope I'm saying that right. And I just um, really saw this giant light of heaven just shining on you. And I heard the Lord say that he sees you. He wants you to know that he sees you, that you have captured heaven's attention, that your prayers are more powerful and effective than you realize. And I just see um, an acceleration in your spirit. I see a hunger just being stirred in your spirit and that the Lord is just drawing you deeper in this season. And more than anything, Anna, I just really feel like the Lord wants you to know like that he's calling you out, that he is doing something in you. And so I just ask Holy Spirit, touch her. And we pray, Lord, that you would do abundantly and beyond anything that she could ask, think, or imagine that the Lord is going to use you mightily, Anna. We bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Susan in Colorado, I just see you as, as an intercessor that moves heaven and earth. I just declare over you that you'll press into those things that you hear God tells you to pray for. He hears your prayers. There's many people that are being healed or being set free or being guided to the kingdom by your prayers. Know that your prayers are powerful. Your prayers are heard. You're called to intercede and pray and literally be a prophetic intercessor. So I declare that over your life and that you'll see that you know, that you know, that you know, that God is moving and you're hearing him and you release it in Jesus' name. Yeah, Lynn Church, I just saw your hands on fire. I saw the fire beginning to grow up your fingertips all the way to your arms and to your shoulders. And I just felt like the Lord was consuming you. And all I heard was for you to just to let it happen, to just rest in what he's doing in your life and learn how to partner with him and hear his small, quiet voice, although the wind might be surrounding you. Amen. Oh, well, Lord, we just thank you so much for everything you did today on this live. Guys, if you jumped on late, I encourage you to go back and just re-watch. Um, the Lord was just really releasing um, just a lot, of, um, a lot of healing today, so go back and re-watch that. And um, I just want to bless you right now. Lord, we speak a blessing over everyone on. We ask, Holy Spirit, that you um, would just blow a wind, a, a refreshing wind of the Holy Spirit over everyone watching. And we say, Holy Spirit, come have your way. Bless them in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us today for our Prophetic Wednesday. We have this every Wednesday at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so we hope that you can join us next week. Um, I also encourage you guys to hop on over to our YouTube channel after this. We're about to drop some fresh content right after this live um, on our YouTube page. So thank you so much for joining us, guys. Have an amazing week. God bless you.